So I'm going to talk about how to get uncomfortable in your comfort zone, because four years ago, I was in a box inside like my little sandbox, very stressed out as a realtor, and I had to have surgery on my ankles so I couldn't move, and I was freaking out. So I'm going to share some pictures of my butterfly garden, um, uh, which helped to de-stress me, and the process of the butterfly garden is what calm me down and transform my life. Everything starts first with a seed, and you have to plant a seed, and before, before the seed uh, oops, see, I'm all nervous here. <laughs> before, um, before the plant can be the host for the butterfly, for the caterpillars. And so once the plant is there, then you can start creating like a vision. It's, it's like um, your, the, the beautiful flowers create a platform for your vision. My platform was blogging. I started blogging and I birthed the vision. I used my words. <laughs> and my media, my pictures. I started taking pictures of my butterfly garden and, and I started really small. It was just like that little teeny weeny caterpillar. And I didn't know where it was gonna take me, but all I wanted to do was inspire. And actually I have the sticker here, which Anoush gave me from Gaping Void, which is inspire. That's all I wanted to do during my stressful times. And these are two caterpillars munching on the milkweed, and they're getting their nourishment. My nourishment was writing my blog posts, keep going, you know, just keeping at it, keeping at it, never giving up. And just, it was what calmed me during the day while uh, my real estate deals were falling apart. This is a, in the middle of a transformation from the caterpillar to the chrysalis before it becomes a butterfly. So it dawned on me when I was doing this uh, presentation that transformation happens before the end result. And if you can see here, it, it just, right before your eyes, look at the beautiful gold uh, speckles. And it's not very clear, but you can see the wings. It becomes clear and you can see it mo just transforming before your very eyes. And here, as it emerges from its shell, and it's drying its wings, so it's still. It's going into stillness. It's all like a process that's very natural, very gentle, very sweet. And even before it starts flying, it's, it starts crawling. And it doesn't, it's not like everything's so fast. Like sometimes you just want to move ahead so fast, but you know, take your time. That's how the butterflies do it. And you know, it's very slow for me, especially as I was on crutches. Now, this is something I saw uh, on Facebook that Alex says, I create spaces for people to express themselves. And I just loved it because what did I do? Once I was ready to go out of my little house and looking out on my butterfly gardens, I was ready to just leap with joy and go and inspire and do something. So I was using it with my words, but I was at home. I was tweeting with a lot of people from all over the world, but I didn't meet anyone. And so these spaces that... Um, were tweet ups. They were uh, Miami Herald tweet up, um, beer up, twine ups, pizza tweet ups. <laughs> what else? Uh, croquetta crawls, cupcake crawls. I went to so many tweet ups. I mean, you look at my Flickr account, it's full of all the tweet ups, all these beautiful people that were inspiring me. And that's what transformed my life. Just getting out there and just being with people, getting to know who they were. You know, I was sharing my pictures, but I was just being social, just being me. I wanted to just, sh just feel the love of of just all the people I was meeting. And then I started going to blogging conferences, um, meeting all these bloggers. I won a Best Inspirational Blog Award at Latism, um, their national conference in October. And it was like, wow, this is just so amazing. Until last week, I just came back from Washington. Uh, 70 bloggers went to the White House. Like, wow, how could I, how could I expect from uh, taking pictures of my butterfly garden to be in the White House where top officials were hearing our voices. That's powerful. We were being acknowledged. So my takeaway is whatever you do, do it with love. And whatever new sandbox you go into, give and share. Don't take. Just get out there, get your feet wet. And look, another takeaway is butterflies do rest. They sleep, and sometimes they get their bro they get broken wings. So take time, take it easy, and just take it with nature. And um, the sky's the limit. You never know who you can meet. <laughs>